Should have figured Astrid would send you. Oh, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little Jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood.
maybe we could just forget about this. Let bygones be bygones. What do you say? Surrender. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like that. Very good, very good. <laughs> Creative. <laughs> but killing me would be a mistake. Oh, yes. You would displease our mother. <laughs> For she's your mother too, isn't she? Listener. Walk away! Let poor Cicero live! Tell the pretender Astrid that you did the job. Stabbed, strangled, drowned poor Cicero! What a little bitty lie. No fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge us both. <sighs> Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? 
There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Right then. So, is it true? The Redoran contract? Yes, you heard correctly. In and out of Vardenfell in less than 48 hours. It was a suicide there you are. Astrid said as Took much. your sweet Yet time instead, dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Don't be so petulant. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markov. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow. And <laughs> you've already taken care of him. So, is it true? Well, I do you know the gourmet the was classically job. trained in traditional but Breton no. cuisine in High Rock. So, that's and where he happens. must have met Anton Varan. In any event, when our anonymous chef future, shares a passion for food sure. with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity helps, will I've prove the Emperor's undoing. Uncommon Taste. It was published a few years ago. It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. Remember, the Markov Keep. That's where you'll find Anton. Need something? I'm Boris's assistant. You should see that orc over in Understone Key. Have the orc is a new army. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time, I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Who are you? What do you want? 
The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolo. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Sister. So the prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and a little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Yes, for Sithis. And the Night Mother. You are the listener, after all, hmm? So let's not waste any more time. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. 
It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable, cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death, so don't even think about it. It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. Watch yourself out there. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? The city is crawling with Imperial Legion, but you know what? I'm still mad. Right. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers. The Gourmet. By Azra. Gourmet. I... I'm sorry. I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. You're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just. Oh, well, huh. actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the Potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh... Which ingredient should I add next? Ooh, how decadent. I never would have guessed it. What next? Vampire dust? Seriously? Hmm. Yes, I guess I can see how that would add a more earthy texture. And oddly enough, we do have some on hand. All right, what next then? A giant's toe? You're sure about that? Of course, I'm sorry. One giant's toe, there. What, uh, what next? A septum? As in a gold coin? Really? Ah, I see now. That would give the Potage Le Magnifique a slightly metallic but delicious aftertaste. <laughs> Simply brilliant. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, uh, is that it? Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? 
The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Business with the Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. Can you just stand there and be amazing? Yes. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one? Now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you... the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... The gourmet and the chef have poisoned the Emperor! Get them! That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you. And the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill her and make sure there's nothing left to bury.
most of us are now dead. <laughs> I assumed as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <laughs> well, maybe I did. But you're saving my sorry hide just now, so it'll be raised to any doubts. <laughs> so, thanks. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before it <laughs> roasted alive. Come on. Devil, I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more pull. Yeah. There. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid, here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. Been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. Oh! Well, in that case, lead on. I'm right behind you. <coughs> alive. You're alive. Thanks for this. <coughs> There is much I have to say, <coughs> and not much time. <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus, M Marrow, he said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone, forever. Oh, by Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you, as I've killed everyone else. Uh, yes. I set you up. I wanted you dead. I betrayed you, the Night Mother, and everything I hold dear. And now, Marrow has betrayed me. I just wanted things to stay the way they were <clears throat> before Cicero before the Night Mother before you I thought I could save us I was wrong but you're alive 
So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did... Uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill... me. Do it, listener. Kill me. Thank you. Astrid. By the sands, I still can't wrap my head around it. Astrid. By the sands, I still can't wrap my head around it. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mede II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener, and must bind this family together. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? But that would mean... You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family. Hmm. All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say, then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. somewhere. I ain't done nothing.
What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. You still need to remove that blood stain from the incident. By the gods! You, you're alive! But I had heard your sanctuary. Please, you mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead. The true Emperor. I still do. It was Morrow. He... You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II, as contracted, I will reveal the location this of the dead drop that holds your payment. Staunch protectors, the Imperials. We drink to our youth. Well, I don't know. It's in the Solitude Inlet. That's the channel just north of the docks. I suppose you should go to the docks and swim? Drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. Ah, <laughs> yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude Docks conducting the Emperor's departure. Surely you're joking. This is the true Emperor, not some half septim lookalike. He'll be surrounded by elite bodyguards, I'm sure. You'll have your work cut out for you. Still, everyone assumes the Dark Brotherhood has been completely destroyed. They may be a bit more lax than usual. Please, make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay more forever.